Hey, so uh, Saul Anousis, I'm David All with Tech Republican. Just wanted to ask you a question. There's a uh, pro Mike Duncan blog, uh, probably uh, set up by someone who works for him, would be my guess. But uh, it it actually criticizes you for personally using technology. They're saying that you're you use technology to get your own message out, but maybe not to get the message of the Michigan Re Republican Party out. Well, all they have to do is take a look at the history. I, I'm the first chairman of the country that started blogging four years ago. Uh, I'm the only one who uses Twitter on a regular basis myself. I'm the one who writes my own blogs. I'm on Facebook. And I do that because you have to create a presence in order to communicate the message. Um, today, obviously, I am talking about myself because I'm running for chairman of the National Committee and I'm trying to make the argument of why I would be a good chairman. But if you take a look at historically, the kinds of things we did. As an example, the jobs clock that followed Jennifer Granholm around and tried to set the election, uh, the, frame the election for uh, for governor, or the immigration clock that followed Debbie Stabenow around during the Senate race, or if you take a look at you know a welcoming basket coming into a new candidate who you know moves into a, a gerrymandered district. I mean, you have to do those things. And part of the power of the internet, part of the power of the you know, technology 2.0 is the fact that you actually become a player and build a relationship with the people that follow you, that read you. If you're not real, if you're not uh, true to your, you know, convictions, if they, if they don't think it's really you talking about it, you become a staid, kind of generic party posted blog that staff just puts up and says nothing, you're not going to have anybody paying attention or listening. So either the person just doesn't get it or they're throwing it out to people who don't get it and hoping that they can somehow make it sound bad. But I think the power of this is that people follow it because they know what I'm talking about. And sometimes the more interesting responses you get is when you tell people you're going out for Chinese and they say where and what kind because it's real and it brings people back to the fact that you're a real person talking in real time about real issues. So Anousis, thanks a lot. And where can people find you on Twitter? Uh, Twitter, S Anousis, S-A-N-U-Z-I-S. All right, and I recently saw you're one of the top conservatives on Twitter. We're on that, getting there. Your people website. are following, people are paying attention, and we're having a lot of fun. And if you're interested in RNC race, if you're interested in conservative issues, issues in general or what's happening in Michigan, join us, follow us, and uh, come along. All right. Thanks a lot, Saul.